why are you not converting your leads? It's one of the biggest frustrations business owners face. Your leads are coming in, but when it comes time to converting them into sales, you're not closing your deals and you're not building your customer base. My name is Sumi from ERP Hub, and in today's video, I'll be sharing five reasons why you're not converting your leads into sales, what to do about it, and simple tips that can help you get started right away in order to bring more business in. Let's dive into the video to get you and your company converting more leads into sales. The first reason is you may have the wrong approach. What many business owners do when they see a lead come through, they get excited and think about how it equates to actually having a customer. They get ecstatic about the opportunity and assume that the next step is to sell them about who we are and what we do as a business. However, this can cause you to think about sales the wrong way. Sales experts understand that just because someone's downloaded a piece of content or someone's connected with them on social media, or even if someone's filled out a web form with their information, that it means that it's automatically a sale. However, it's just a mean or opportunity to sell. They use these lead magnets as a chance to learn more about the customer and what their needs are. The lead magnets are then used to start a meaningful conversation and a relationship with the customer. This is the first thing you have to do when it comes to sales and turning your leads into a business. Don't assume that your lead that's entered into your pipeline is automatically a sale. Change your perspective and see it as a means to open up conversation, to get to know your lead, and from there you can make decisions about whether the customer is qualified or not. Reason number two, when it comes to converting leads into sales, most business owners tend to hurry into sales mode where they're trying to sell the idea of their business. They tend to think that just because someone's reached out to them for some information, then it must mean it's an opportunity for them to sell themselves and try to push for business. Smart customers can recognize when you're being too pushy on the sale. You've got to get to know these people and see if they align with what you're providing as a business. So the worst thing you can do is be too aggressive and forceful in your selling. Don't jump on them unless they're in a position where they understand your company, what you do, and how you can solve their problems. The reality in sales is if you try and convert your leads too early before they're properly nurtured, this can lead to you losing opportunities. Closing the deal in the first meeting is rare. However, losing business in the first meeting is more common. So make sure you're leaving a good first impression on your leads. Have conversations before you just jump into having straight business deals with someone. If you quickly go into this process, you're likely to lose out on your opportunities. Again, people aren't attracted when you're being desperate and pushy. Be in a position where you're having great conversations with qualified leads. Reason number three, you're focusing too much on yourself rather than the customer. All successful businesses focus on making their customers happy. When you're trying to convert your leads into deals, it should always be about the other person, the customer. The best approach when it comes to sales is to use great questions to get to know the other person. Create a profile that summarizes their position as a lead. Great questions can allow you to understand the situation of the lead and what they're going through. This can take up a lot of your time, but when you build the report and the relationship, it's going to help you show that the other person, that you care about them, you've listened to them, and you understand that where they're coming from. From there, you can give them an outline to your solution. Too many business owners go in straight for the kill and showcase how great they are and what they can do. However, they fail to allocate their time to understand what's happening and summarizing the problem. When you're implementing this strategy, you're putting the ball in the other person's court and urging them to take control of their actions and what their problem is. What you can then do is start using key phrases like, what would you like to do next? Or how would you like to move forward in order to move to the next step in your sales process? Reason number four is no brand exposure or brand credibility. When you have a lead that's looking to get a desire or problem resolved, there are two critical factors that go through their mind. How are you going to do it? And do they think that price equates to the value that you're going to provide or charge them? You need to bring the solution to life when you're taking the problem of the prospect away. This can be done by showing them a step-by-step -step guide or process that you follow, or what happens when your lead becomes a customer in your business. With customer journeys, you can show them how you turn them into customers with the various stages in your sales pipeline. 
Most people don't buy things because they don't believe it's going to affect their daily lives. They can't visualize a situation where your services or product will be helpful. Your job is to bring that visualization into life. Show them how deploying your solutions or using a product can make their problems disappear. The second critical factor is the value aspect to it. Does the price you charge match their willingness to pay for the problem to be taken away? If the answer is yes, then you're going to be in a position where you want to be working with them. Too many salespeople are afraid to talk about the budget and value. Your products or services must be a good return on investment for your leads to consider you. If you want to convert more leads into customers, start by understanding what you can do to make their lives easier as a customer or a business, and be in a position where your leads understand the value that you bring to them. Also, you need to understand what's key for them so you can match together and build a plan for them so you can turn that lead into a customer. Reason number five, no customer journey. Without customer journeys, you won't be able to deliver personalized content or questions when your prospects are at certain stages in your sales pipeline. This can be difficult for businesses because you need to ask the right questions and deliver them at the right time to hopefully move forward in your sales process and ultimately turn your prospect into a client. You may be in a stage where you're getting to know your customer and what their problems are as a business. At that point, you may need to ask questions like, how do you wanna move forward? Or what can we do to make you feel comfortable enough to move forward? The customer will then express how they feel and whether they're ready or not to move forward. Asking questions like that can accelerate your sales process and it'll just overall increase your conversion rates. When you're on another stage in your customer journey, you may wanna ask, when do you wanna sign the paperwork? Or when would you like to start implementing this project? Using these phrases and key questions can move them to the point where they're ready to make a decision. You can also ask questions like, what other information can we share with you to make you feel more comfortable in the sales process? The whole point of this is to make sure your leads feel nurtured to the point where they trust you and they're ready to do business with you. You need to convince them that the investment that they're making is going to deliver the return that they want. Having automated campaigns is another way you can deliver your personalized content marketing campaigns at the right time and building content and resources that they can use for when they're at certain stages in their sales pipeline can make them feel that you are converting them and nurturing them and giving them their best interest in mind. This will build trust in the relationship and ultimately increase brand awareness. And at the end of the day, it's important to recognize that you've got to show them that what you're going to make happen for them is actually gonna benefit them. Most people are afraid of asking direct questions, but it could be the difference. If you're asking questions like, if we can get this problem resolved, does this build enough trust to move forward? Once again, this enables you to move forward in your sales process to the point where you start closing your deals. If you take the time out to learn about your leads, ask great questions, summarize the problems, to show that you can make things happen for them, and ask closure questions, you're going to convert more leads into business and grow your customer base overall.